don't matter, but it completely misses the point of the Black Lives Matter. Oh. Even started. You don't get it. You just don't get it. So you need to find out. I can't help you. Find out. Educate yourselves. You're part of the problem. Yeah, exactly. You're exactly what they're talking about. The protesters. When the Nobody is saying white lives doesn't matter. Nobody is saying that all lives doesn't matter. But right now, we are fighting that black lives should also matter. If you look at statistics, if you look at the world, if you look around you, you would see for yourselves that the minorities, the black people, are always at the bottom of the barrel. Why is it so hard? Or why is it like such a hard pill for you to swallow or for you to even accept or even acknowledge? If in your eyes all lives matter, then why can't you support a movement? Why can't you stand in solidarity? Why do you have to counteract it with white lives matter? That just shows the racist bone that's in your body. <laughs> Hi lovely people, welcome back to another video. As you are aware, so Manchester played Burnley recently and um, during the, just before the game I believe, um, they took a knee just in solidarity and um, you know, just to show that they stand with the Black Lives Matter movement in respect of what is going on and you know, before the kickoff, um, a banner decided to just cross over with White Lives Matter. Now there has been an outrage about this, quite frankly right, and just the thought that somebody feels, somebody feels so uncomfortable, so, there's so much hatred in somebody's, in people's hearts that they feel like the need to hire a plane and and take time to actually um you know take time to put this together um to 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 do this kind of move the level of hatred that you must have in your heart to do that is absolutely unbelievable like words cannot even describe it police has gone to investigate the matter um which quite frankly it should be investigated and the young lad has come out claiming of flying the offensive banner um over the stadium now i don't know if he was flying the plane or did he come behind it and you know what not what not but let's have a look at what's happened so his name is jake heppel and he refuses to apologize for this gesture burnley fan jake heppel has claimed responsibility for flying an offensive banner above the stadium during last night's match against Manchester City. The Mirror reports that Heppel has refused to apologise in a social media post and shared a video of the incident on his Facebook page after City beat 5-0. The Manchester Evening News has contacted Heppel for comment. In the early moments of Monday's defeat at the stadium, the Clarets' first game since the Premier League recently the Premier League restarts a plane flew past carrying a message which read White Lives Matter. It occurred shortly after the players had taken the knee at kickoff in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Do you know what Proverbs says? Proverbs says, don't bother correcting a mocker for they will only hate you. Instead, correct the wise and they will love you. I cannot keep speaking to people that have um, hard hearts that are stubborn that don't want to um, correct themselves that just want to live in ignorance um, that only wants to um, live in their pride they only want to live in their bubble they don't want to listen to anybody else you're wasting your time for me to continually to try to bash a rock it doesn't make sense so for someone like that and your team and everybody else around that still wants to be like oh but white lives matter oh white lives matter it's like well clearly you don't believe in equality clearly you don't believe that black and white should be should be the same clearly you don't believe that um we are all one human race Clearly you feel threatened by the movement. It's about your actions, mate. And your actions has clearly shown that you are a racist. Your actions has clearly shown that you don't want there to be a broken boundary. Like, you don't want the, the walls to be broken. You want to be a white supremacist and you want black people to be at the bottom of the barrel. You know, you still want that enslaved um, mentality, you know, to still be there because you don't want to 
to share maybe you don't want to share your privileges maybe that's the case black lives matter was something that was started because black people were tired of the injustice that were going on in the community and based on the back of that white lives matter then came about to counteract the black Lives matter movement by white supremacist so you tell me why you are putting why you are flying a white lives matter banner you tell me why in your mind you can't see the purpose of black lives matter or you tell me what was white lives matter who founded it when did it start who started it what was the reason what was the purpose I've literally come to the conclusion where I'm just like, you know what, I'm not even going to try to address these kind of people anymore. Like, I'm not going to give you any more of the time of my day, um, but I will for damn sure stand in my position and stand in my ground as a black woman, as a black um, person living here in the UK or wherever I'll be all around the world. And I will stand for what I believe in. And that is for equality, black lives matter. And let me tell you something. If you feel uncomfortable by the Black Lives Matter movement, then you need to check yourself. And also, for you to come and do that, you know, at a game which has, which is the first game since the lockdown, you don't respect your team, you don't respect the, the football culture, you don't respect that because for you to come and ruin the atmosphere, for you to come and dampen the mood, for you to come and do that, vomit all over it, it just shows that you don't support, you don't respect your team, you don't respect um, the football club, you don't respect the culture. Why not let people just enjoy watching the game? Why don't you just let people enjoy? Look, Manchester won 5 0. So, yeah. You did not even score one goal. There we go. There's you. There is your karma, mate. So Burnley, you better do more. And on top of that, I'm sorry, but why are they just asking the guy to apologise? There needs to be more than an apology. There needs to be accountability held properly. That is just not only discrimination, but that is a meditated attack towards a movement, a particular group of people. So it needs to be taken a lot more seriously than asking some little boy to apologise. I don't like to come on here and just like rant, 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 but it needs to be done. Um, let me know in the comments. And if you are on this whole white lives matter, best believe, yeah, don't be coming on here barking because unless you're going to tell me why black, why, why white lives matter started, what's the purpose of white lives matter, when and how it started, then I don't want to hear it. It honestly breaks my heart. It makes me sick and it makes me so sad to see that since Black Lives Matter has started, to see the level of racism that was buried under these rocks, that has literally crawled out of under these rocks, is honestly phenomenal. People in the comments, people in the, on social media, it's like the lid has been lifted off the racism and now we can see the level of racism in this country that people were saying that oh no we don't have it in the uk even our parliament have been exposed with their way of thinking with their mentality and i'm glad that we have people like Piers morgan you know who actually is not afraid to use his voice because that's what we need that's what we are asking for for you white people to stand by to stand by us in solidarity to stand by us and you know join forces with us to ensure that there can actually be true equality and the way that it will start is by having the conversations by acknowledging um the issues and not running away with it or not counteracting it or not covering it up with a, um, a stupid white lives matter message and by actually holding people really accountable for their actions i'm gonna end the video here guys because i am honestly i am more sad than angry like i've gone past the anger stage i'm just like wow like is that really the case like it's amazing like it's honestly amazing but thank you so much for watching please do continue to support my channel i really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video bye